Hey guys, Fubbleek here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines. I have for once done nothing between parts. I have I've, I've done nothing. It's exactly the same. So welcome back. Uh, we built all that area, area up last time. Obviously still more to do around here. Good lord, they have no water there. Sorry, that's on me. Uh, <laughs> that's probably been like that for a while. There you go, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, this area's got quite a bit of life to it. I think it's actually really nice and I want to get out some... I don't know why I'm going to find it for this. I just want to get some trees out from this. Uh, so comments from last time. A lot of people want to see the IT cluster. Because I did say, I think I said a long time ago, that we're going to do uh, the IT cluster, which is the new office specialization in the downtown area. Because we, we did it over in... Do I, no, I don't like those. We did it over in uh, Sedona City uh, ages ago. And then we realized it was really not suited for that area. Uh, and I said we'd come back to it. And uh, we probably will. The thing is, I actually tested it out uh, before last part, I think. Because I, I, I did like, a, I, I built up the entire downtown area with roads and just filled it with buildings because I wanted to see how it sort of handled traffic later on. It was okay. I think it was okay for the most part. It wasn't, it actually was fine. Um, okay, that's not so bad. Uh, just trying to make this area look a little bit more alive because it's a little bit dead. Uh, yeah, so I did that, and it was, uh, it was uh, working pretty well. Uh, then I noticed that all those buildings looked really, really gross. Uh, because, not because they actually are gross, they, they look pretty good. But the problem is that they, I don't even know where all this grass came from. Probably from one of my, <laughs> one of the assets I downloaded. I've downloaded a lot of assets. Oh, look, there's like wall vines and all that. Look at all this. I'm trying to see if there's anything good we can put down here. Getting really distracted from what I was trying to say. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, that casino sign. Um... Oh. Oh. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, it's because there's, there's not that many buildings. There's not that much variety of the IT cluster buildings. So when I did the whole area like that, it didn't look good. So I think we'll try and do like a... Like almost... Um, I don't want to use those. You know what? Anyway, I know I know what I'm looking for. I think I just want some benches along here. Kind of like we did in the other place in the city. Uh, yeah, so we'll go for... Not that. Uh, a little bit of IT cluster downtown, but not too much. Let's go every 6.82 meters. Beautiful. Can we get one more? Almost. Maybe if we start a little further in, that will... Oh, okay, they're going the wrong way. Go there to here. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Oh, like it extends the dirt. That's super annoying. Also, I feel like people don't actually ever sit on these. Because I don't think the game works like that. It would be nice if they did. We should definitely get the, uh, the thing that, like, this sort of event marker that just attracts people to an area like a park. Speaking of parks, I wonder if we can get the, the little car parks in here because we should be able to do that. Uh, one by one. Oh, not really. Uh, I mean, we probably can, but we're going to have to cheat it in. So if we do this, move it here. Because that definitely fits in. This is definitely a good place for parking. Do we have a uh, better sized ones though? Do we have like a one by four? Do, can I have like a four by one though? See, I've got all these parking lots, but I didn't really... i get this one. Okay, this one's better. Let's go like this. And then delete that. Sorry. Oh, that car's teleported over here. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so this is going to go over here. As far back as we can get it, really. And then we're going to go duplicate it. I said duplicate it. I can't even see it. There it is. Oh, God. That, God, that's so annoying. This is how I'm going to have to do it every single time. There we go. Beautiful. And then obviously we'll paint cement underneath that and it'll look really, really good. Actually, you know what? Select both. I said select both. I said select... Select both. Duplicate both. Oh god, I don't know. Where does this sit there? Oh my god, it's nowhere near it. <laughs> it doesn't... Oh, oh no! It doesn't give me the preview before I uh, select them. Oh my god. Can I not get those now? They're hidden between the road and the... Oh, oh good lord. Alright, try that again. So it's like back here. It's kind of like, I think the parking slots almost line up with the front of the... The... Outline. Good sentence. Good sentence! Alrighty. Can I just move this? No, see, I, I can't move it once I've placed it. Also, I need to actually... Let's overlap a couple of these spots, because otherwise it's gonna be too big there. There you go. Now, select, uh, I guess, are they buildings? Yeah. Duplicate that. Let's put it over here. Nice. Does overlap with the uh, the bus stop there a little bit though, so maybe not. No, you know what? We're gonna, we should probably do it there and there then, shouldn't we? Alright, no, never mind. We'll do it like this. We'll go building. 
This is taking way longer than I thought it would. Uh, duplicate one of them. Put it... Such a small little translation. It's so random as well. Put it here. Okay, there you go. Then we'll get one on the other side. Like here-ish. We'll just get the two, I think. Okay, that was nowhere near where it needed to go. Okay, like that. And then maybe just do some benches back there or something and some... I don't know, we'll make it look nice. A lot of trains running through here though, which is good. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it a little bit sharper. So I actually can see what I'm doing. Okay, that step is way too big. Okay, can I get one between 15 and... No, okay, 15 is as small as it goes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good enough. I, it's always annoying how the, uh, the concrete doesn't really blend with existing concrete too well. Like here, for example. You can try and make it, but it's never... whoops. It's always gonna have that gap unless we take it all the way down to like another building or something. Oh god. Look at it. Look at it. It's, a, it's like a blob. Big blob of ugly concrete. What? I don't know what's happening there, but I didn't do that. Let's just do that and pretend it's fine. Ah, oh, no, I can't pretend that's fine. Look at it. How did the other one work? That, that one worked so well, you can't even tell. No one's parking in my little spots, and it's upsetting to me. Oh, there we go. Park in my spots, please. Thank you. Just park there. Like, there's two people parking. What about everybody else? They're all just parking in these. Park there, though! They've got, like, look at the Prime Station parking. It's so good. Alright, whatever. Okay, anyway, over here. I, don't expect, I spent <laughs> so long on that just then. So what I want to do is actually add another district in here. Uh, because we're gonna need to. I think if we do IT cluster, maybe here, I was thinking in this little section here. So this bit, and maybe this bit here too. And we'll see how we go with just this section. Uh, and we'll go from there. I think that's my current plan. So we can go here, border all of this. All of this is gonna be IT cluster. Okay. Hickory Heights. Uh, now we're gonna, Sedona... No, it's well, Sedona, new Sedona City, new, new IT district, sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good name. Good name. Uh, offices, this one here, IT cluster, there you go. So let's, let's just see what this looks like as all, uh, all of this. Let's see what happens. So that's going to be, it's got water, that might miss out a little bit there. Maybe a little bit here too. Alright, so these guys are going to build, so we get these much taller buildings in this area. The problem is, I noticed that we get this building like 10 times. So we've got two different ones here. Uh, that's different. Oh no, it's the same building thing. It's the same building. That's also the same building. These are different. Is this the same building? There's like two different types of skyscrapers, which is super annoying. It's like, can you give me some more variety? I don't know what it is. Maybe if we level them up. Oh, no, they don't have any levels. It's one level, and that's it. So, I don't know, it's just the same building like 10 times, which I don't think looks very good is a problem. Anyway, well, let's just see how that goes. Let's put those there. Uh, in this section here, uh, we've got residential right there. I don't really want to do commercial, maybe just regular offices in this spot. See what we get in there. That should be alright. Okay, then, we got a lot of, yeah, there's a little bit of industrial demand. I want to get in the library somewhere that we had. Which is actually a university. Uh, and also, we don't... It would be very, very good for all these people. Uh, we could do it. Can we do it, um... Can I, like, fit it under, like, a highway or something? That'd be really handy to not use too much space. Can it fit in here? I feel like it can fit in there, but it just doesn't want to. It's just like, ah, yeah, I could do, but I don't really want to. What if we put it here, more on the outskirts, sort of heading toward... Like, if we could put it right here. So, Anarchy, put it there. Right next to the highway, but sort of slots in just there. Biblioteca Publica del Estado. Nice. So this is our now state library, which also is right next to the station. So I think, I feel like that's useful. So I feel like they can get to the train right here. Uh, and that also made everyone super happy. Uh, which is good news for us. Oh, look at them building up here. Lovely. Yeah, see, look at this. This is why I didn't like it. Because when you make the whole city this, it's disgusting. Is there something I'm doing wrong? Like, there's no... There's no theme on this, because we just built it. It just looks gross. Like, it's... I don't know. That's why I think maybe only that section of it we should do IT class. Because if we do any more, I feel like it's just going to be... Bleh, not very good, you know? Uh, so we have a... Okay, highway entrance is there. Uh, I think we're okay. We gotta... 
there's a lot of um oh my god we auto save yeah auto save we got a lot of uh these random green spaces in here which is fine but i think we need we feel like we need to do something like it just feels empty like there should be something there uh is there like a small office i could get in what is it <laughs> yeah a small office that one <laughs> uh i wish you could um scale stuff down like in the sims that'd be so useful I'll just scale these buildings down to fit in a little bit. Uh, I did actually look into... A lot of you guys suggested a little while ago when I was talking about... I just want to be able to plop regular buildings. There is a mod called Plop the Growables. But I wasn't very sure how that mod worked. Because the description made it sound like my buildings will no longer grow normally. Like if I just put down zoning, it sounded like they won't grow anymore. I don't know if that's true though. So let me know. Why is it there's no leisure here at all? Damn. We need to get some stuff here. Why don't we get, um, let's get some, instead of trying to find those buildings, let's see if we can get some, oh yeah, I wanted to do, I reckon the stadium would be really good out here. Like, a few people suggested it, I think out here somewhere, maybe like on this point, could be really good. If we can get, we can probably get a, a tunnel train out here. Uh, let's see if we can do it, because what I would like to do is have, I really wish this road worked, because I like to look at this road. I don't, I still don't know why it does this. If you guys know, like, so basically... All this stuff is, well, if you look at this little preview, a little screenshot, you can see it there. And the little thumbnail, that's how it should look. Like, the alignment of everything is wrong. For reasons that I don't quite know. Like, because I put, I built in a bike lane, I built in, like, parking or, like, with these lines. But for some reason, my custom roads, not even, because I made that one, but not even just that one, but, like, other ones like this. All the alignment is just wrong. So I can't use them. I should probably just get rid of those roads. Oh my god, I have prop panicking on this whole time. Oh yeah, that's what a few guys, uh, you guys said was that, um, because I was talking about how this disappeared here, like a bit of it. But, uh, and you were like, oh, make sure you got to have prop anarchy on before you load a save, which we already do. We've had it on forever. That's why I always forget to turn it off. I'm always forgetting to turn it off. I just don't know why that one. Now I have it off. I just don't know why that one didn't, um, why this one disappeared. Because I have prop anarchy on by default, so things don't disappear. Let me turn it off. I, I kind of like those. I, I don't know. I, I like the aesthetic of those as like a road divider. It's kind of cool. Very, very city-like. Uh, and I tried to, I did some lane management here because everyone was using just the one lane to go forward, which is really, really annoying because it all just back up down there. Not by much, but I feel like later on it would be bad. So what I did is I actually went through and uh, just made them so they can't change lanes anywhere on this road. So basically when they join here, like, you got to be in the correct lane, otherwise you're screwed. Uh, <laughs> otherwise you're screwed. Right, so this guy over here, I think this definitely needs trees in front of it. What else was I doing? Oh, I was doing the stadium. I'm doing so many things at once. I gotta, let's just pick one thing. Um, leisure was the other thing. <laughs> I was like, let's do this. Oh, wait, no, we gotta do that. Uh, which is true though, because I do, well, let, let, before we do the stadium, before we do anything, we got the concert stuff as well we should look into. What about um, transport town? No. What would be good for leisure or leisure, as I would say? Pyramid of safety. Mm, safe. What about... Uh, something... Well, these are all just like the custom buildings. I want like the ones that are actually going to be fun for people. The Astrodome. This one's really cool. Um, really cool big building, but I don't know if I want to use that right here. Uh, is there any... Uh, uh, what about in here? The, oh, these things are quite good. Temple complex. I've already used quite a lot of it though, quite clearly. I didn't use a panda sanctuary, but I feel like that's not very fitting uh, for this area. What about the... Does this, come, does this come with subways or is that a mod? Uh, train museum in your city. Okay. I mean, this could definitely go around here somewhere. If we can get it in. It's a, actually quite a big building though, it's a problem. See, I would have liked to put it... If it could fit under the highway, that'd be cool. But the problem is we uh, have this whole highway in here now. And it's because it's stacked. There's not really anywhere to put it. Uh, we could put it further back in the city. We could definitely put it in here. But I don't know if I really want it. So it's also loud within short range. Is that residential there? I think so. So I don't really want to put it there. Maybe we can put it... See, I was going to... Here somewhere. So I want this area to have some very unique skyscrapers down the end. Uh, so maybe... Well, what, over here, what about over here by the train station? I guess that makes sense. But the problem with that is that... I was trying to put it, I was trying to do leisure near those things. We already have a bunch of good stuff over here. We can definitely get it on the corner up here, if I want. Like if I put it there. 
Well, that's a cool building on the corner. Although, for some reason, the land is a bit strange around it. It's nice, though. Anyway, we'll put that there. Does that does that help any of these guys out? No, it really doesn't. It did absolutely nothing for us. Okay. Alrighty, then. Thanks, guys. Thanks for nothing. Because, uh, yeah, they got parks all over there. The problem is, it's downtown, and I don't want to take up precious real estate with parks. We could do a skate park, actually. Why don't we get that? Oh, we get it here between the university and the... <laughs> I mean, you might fall down there. Why don't we put it... What are we around the back? We could put it underneath the highway here. Like there. And then if we sort of adjust the column, because I think the column will still look cool underneath. We'll just move it out of the... Uh, little bowl. It's alright. Just just watch out for it. You might, you might get hit, but that's cool. Alright, did that help us out? Helped out these guys a little bit, and a little bit over here. Alrighty, well what about a regional soccer stadium? There's not a lot of room, is the other thing I'm noticing very, very quickly. What about a- we can do a plaza? We can do a plaza opposite the, uh, this guy here. Do some trees here and all that. Still really did not help us out at all. Oh no, a little bit. Need some stuff back there. Definitely need some more stuff over here as well. Okay, now. So for this university, which is, I mean, it's just a library, but it's, it's also a university. I also, we definitely need to either get a better bus line here or more buses, because there's so many people there waiting. <laughs> um, I wonder if this road's being used a little bit more yet. There's a lot of people walking on it. There's not a lot of cars on it. I kind of wish there was more. Uh, anyway, let's go here. So what I want to do is get out some trees, which are going to be these guys. We're going to go single. We're going to go make that smaller some trees at the front, then we'll also go prop anarchy on. Uh, see, I feel like if we can get a more manicured looking tree, it'd be pretty good. That's not manicured. There's a lot of custom trees that I down had to download for other builds, so there might be some good stuff in here. Regular bush. This thing, no. Something that would fit it. Tree four, flower white, this guy. Something that makes sense to be here. Just like a really manicured tree, which I don't think we really have. I mean, I could go find some on the on the workshop, but I guess you know we'll just we'll just deal with what we got. I do like these ones. These kind of look like they they've been planted on purpose, you know. Okay, those are way too close. Let's move those apart. Maybe plus another ten moves between them. Could do it like that. Although, it is covering the sign, so that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Regular bush. We do some bushes. They're huge, though. What about... Oh, these these could work, actually. What about these? Do another 10 meters between them, though. Is that too far apart, though? We could do it. I like how there's people, like, flying up the top, because it's the way the pathways work there. Yeah, that's alright. There's a few little trees there. Um, okay, so that's gonna go there. That's good. Uh, then this guy here... We've got this random space here. Can we actually just get in, um... Car parks there? That makes sense. Where is it? Where do I find them in here? Here we go. Ugh, doesn't quite fit. Three... There you go. That should, does that also help with um, parks? I don't know if they, these come with any benefits. I feel like they don't. Anyway, those will go there. And then we're going to go paint that down. We should probably get like a... Uh, a parking garage here. Because I feel like if you had a university around... There's a lot of street parking going on here. Which I don't know if I'm particularly a fan of. Oh, that looks... I like all the cars parked in there. Nice. Let's see if we can get a parking garage here, uh, which we have... I feel like we only have one. Oh no, we have a couple, don't we? We have this one. And we have... I don't remember where the other ones are. Are they in here? I feel like they used to go in here. No, maybe this is the mod. Where else do they go? I don't know. Pa parking. What about garage? What is this? Old parking garage. Yeah, so this is the one we have by the by Amity Exchange. Let's get this over here. The only thing I don't like- Oh, actually, we have that one over here, too. The only thing I don't like about this one is it comes with a pathway coming out of it up the top for some reason. Like, halfway up, you can see that. And it also has a road attached to it, which I don't really like. But then this car park is freaking huge. Like, it's- it's big. 
You could actually get it in here, maybe. But then we cover up half the uh, thing. Maybe, what if I put it in the mountain? Oh no, because it will just flatten the mountain, won't it? What about around the other side of this uh, highway? If it was like a little bit back and right next to the highway, it'd be like perfect. Like right there. It's too far away though. Um, what's this? Carport. What about... We definitely just need parking here though, it doesn't really fit. Oh well, let's go with that for now. A lot of people coming off of this uh, highway exit, which I mean, to be expected. I might have to do... So if exit before, that's all the way back here, so they can exit here. Which almost makes more sense, because there's just way more room. I wonder if I should get- what if I get rid of that exit? Let's see, I'll leave that bit, we'll get rid of this bit. I just want to see- also, I feel like I should probably have a road back here, looking at this now, because there's a huge car park at the back that has no road access. Anyway, so if I do that, a lot of people will probably start using- I might even use this exit here, although you can only go one way on that and you have to go all the way around and then go through here and then come back. So they'll either do that or they'll continue down to here or they'll just exit off here instead, which I'm trying to get them to... So what if we have a look at this now? Yeah, a lot of people exiting here to get to this area now and then exit here to get to this area. And then I guess I'd exit here to get further down, but there's nothing really there at the moment. So it could actually be interesting. That might actually be better than having an exit there at all. Like, it might be better just to ignore that one completely. I think that might be a much better idea. I mean, we'll see. If this becomes really bad on this road, we'll have to change it, obviously. But it could actually be to our benefit, because we have more lanes here, so it just seems to make a little bit more sense. Hmm. Hmm. Also, there's no traffic on this road, and I kind of want to have traffic on the road, because it looks dead. Okay. Uh, right, I want to go out here now, because we're doing like a thousand different things in this video. Uh, let's get out a regular road. You know what, let's flatten this area first, because it is ungodly uneven. Which is nice, but, uh, well actually, here's the thing. I think we do, I've got to try and, if you guys know any, like, really nice, like, luxurious or expensive looking homes, whether they be mansions or just, like, look really expensive, like, waterfront homes, uh, on the workshop, please let me know what they're called or what I can search to find them, because I can't really, I haven't been able to find anything too good. But I think we can definitely do some not really nice housing along this section here, like all the way down here. Uh, but then if we maybe use this for the, the stadium, uh, and we can have like, because we already got this major road here, so it makes, it almost makes sense to have a stadium there, and then sort of separate it out into like quieter residential areas. It could work. Uh, so let me know if you, if you know of any like really good houses in the workshop that look super expensive because I, I think this it makes so much sense to have them out here. I'm lower this down. Oh, there's a few people suggesting a little while ago as well. Prop panicky off as well, by the way. A few people suggesting it's like, oh, do, do an airport out here, which we did a whole episode about deciding where we wanted to do the airport a while ago and we decided not to do it here. So, no. <laughs> so, no. We're not, not going to do an airport here, but what we are going to do is have, uh, I want to, I'll suggest it as well, I want to, because we got plenty of train lines here going underneath. I want to have a train line that goes directly from New Sedona City to Amity Exchange, like Express. Uh, we definitely can't use the existing track because it goes so far away, like it's all the way out here. There have to be a huge detour just to get over here. So I think what we'll end up doing is have a tunnel. I think we'll use the same tunnel that goes to this station that we're going to have here for the stadium. It'll we'll continue on. Maybe t keep tunneling and it'll come up over here somewhere. Um, we could we could run alongside this rail, but I think I'd want to double track it. We might not need a double tracker, but we, we can't use this section of track because there's already too many trains running on it. And it's just way out of our way. So I think that'll work. So let's get out a road. Uh, well, how big is this stadium? The stadium's not that big, is it? It's pretty, it's pretty contained. It's pretty, it's pretty mild. It's pretty... What the hell is this? Oh, they hadn't loaded in. I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, all right, so we can use this. This can go right at the end, like right up here. And then I want to get, we'll get some flat car parks around it as well. I guess what we can do, if we just put it here, then put it on, we can always move it around wherever we want. So, that'll work just fine. Okay, a little too far. That's fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> way too close to the edge. So get this here, it's like that, it's like this. Actually, you know what? It might actually be kind of cool to do it there, because we, 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 what we can do, we can add a key, let's try adding a key around it first, because it might actually look really, really cool. So go here. Um... Okay, obviously we'll use move it to fine-tune this, because it looks ridiculous right now. Um, 
Like this might actually look really, really cool. So we have to go a little bit further out. Uh, and then I think what we'll do is if we do like a pathway around this and have like almost a uh, kind of boardwalky feel to it or something. Not boardwalky feel because obviously it's way too high up for that. But oh, actually, you know what we'll do? Let's bring it down. It is way too high. It's we need to lower this whole section down a bit because it's it's too high up. So we'll bring all this down. And it doesn't have to be terrifically low. Maybe about there, just so we can blend it in with the rest of the island a little bit better. So we'll go there. Let's bring this. We'll bring the whole road and everything down. This is probably going to be laggy as hell. Let me pause the game and bring that down. Actually, that's not that's not too laggy. Actually, that works out pretty well. That's pretty damn good. That looks about level with the key now. Good. Then we're going to lower these sections down here as well. And we're going to have to make sure we level the terrain, otherwise it's going to be a mess everywhere. So bring these down. Uh, that's about level there. We'll probably change this key completely, actually. I might get rid of that bit, because it'll probably head down this way a bit. I'll get rid of that section, bring this bit down, and then we'll level out the terrain and sort of try to blend it in a bit more. Alright, so that's going to go there. Beautiful! Then, I'm going to go here, and also make the tunnel a little bit easier to do as well, because it won't have to go so high up. So bring all this down. There you go, that's better. So all of this back here. So we get parking maybe a lot of this section here. And then let's just try just like that's not even the right tool. I was trying to use smooth, but that wasn't smooth. That was the ramp tool. Which is fine because it still kind of worked. Okay, that look that looks good to me. Like it seems like it makes sense. Uh, now, down here, because this is messed up a little bit. Just got to make sure this is flat edge around the key, because it looks better if it is. Okay, so that goes there. So that is now going to be over the water there. Which is kind of cool, because from here, then you can see the stadium. I think what we'll need to do is probably have... Well, actually, I guess it's not so bad. As I was going to say, we need a, a good way with a highway to get there. Which is actually not so bad, because what, what happens at the moment is you come down, the exit is here, and that joins onto this main road immediately. So, and this isn't even an intersection, it's kind of a free-flowing one, and it just keeps going, so it actually might be okay. Uh, Alright, then we're going to go on this island. Because we've got a very small section here, very narrow. We'll have a small road going out this way. Just like a regular road. Um, I don't have straight slope on or anything, do I? No, good. I'm going to go, okay, no road guides or anything. Right down the middle. I mean, we can always move this and redo it, but... This will be our road for now. We'll probably have like a little town center kind of thing out here, maybe. This will just head all the way down over. Eventually... ...lining up with this guy here. It should be a straight road coming out of this bit. And then this... ...goes here to here. And then that sort of, yeah, follows all the way down here. So that will connect those two up, and then obviously we do houses and all this cool stuff. Over. And then we'll turn this more into grass as well, so it's like a really nice grassy bank and all that, rather than a cliff. We might have to, like, lower it. Or it might look fine like that. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Right, so then this is going to have to obviously have some sort of intersection here. And I think if we try and do it as, like, a free-flowing intersection, it might actually be a lot better. Because uh, we have six lanes, so we really want to have maybe four heading this way, because it's, oh, it's going to be higher density. So let's also try and... See what we can do with this. Let's get um, probably around this height here. Because that's the height of the road. So we'll do this. Okay. Then we're going to have a road over here. Head that way. Uh, that's probably a little too close to where I wanted it. Then we can just build out some... Basically what I want to do is have... Almost like a, a semi-highway interchange. Like it's going to be uh, still regular roads, but... Kind of highway, you know? I, I don't know. Maybe you don't know. But I'm not going to build it now, because it's going to take me ages, actually. I just realized. I was about to do it. I was like, no, this is going to take ages. I'll do it. I'll do it between episodes. But it, I think it will look pretty cool. Oh, unless unless you guys say in the comments, no, don't do that. It's a really bad idea. In terms of this whole... Because my, my current plan for this area is we have a stadium down here. Maybe, like, some... Instead of having town center there, we'll do, like, a town center here. Like, commercial, all that kind of stuff. Not super high density. Probably probably all low density, to be perfectly honest, like low density stuff. Uh, almost sprawl style, kind of, around here. Then houses heading out this way, and maybe some really expensive ones out here or something. Uh, and then, yeah, stuff down here. Then I'll sort of keep following down this way to the stadium. The only access point will be that bridge there, and I guess the one further down. So it should, it'll be interesting. It'll, it'll be interesting. It'll, it'll be interesting. It'll be okay, but it'll be 
definitely interesting. Now, let's do the concrete looking one, because I think this is a better one for this area. So I'll go there, right in front of it. We'll have buses and all that through here as well. Right, so this train station is going to obviously connect up with our main line. Uh, let's have a look. So this is going to go from one of these, because we've got three tracks here. It's going to be the second one, because the inner one is going to be the airport line. And then this one will be our other line. So we're going to go here. Bring it around. Oh, hang on, I think I clicked in the wrong spot. I need to make sure I'm actually... I don't know. We're too high up. Oh, wait, wait. Why is that intersecting everything? I don't quite understand. Hang on. Am I... Quite sure it's that minus 12. Oh, wait. It's because I'm on the ground mode. Okay, got it. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so we want to go angle out probably to here and then sort of curve into that. So if we go... Now let's make sure we're going to be underneath it. We're also going to be pretty low down because we're going to go under the water. So let's go down to like there, minus 30 meters. And then we're going to continue on... Let's go straight to here, maybe. That's low enough? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Then let's see if we can just go from directly from here to here. Well, that actually worked really well. Can't straight slope, obviously, but that worked pretty well. Well, what we are going to do, though, is um, lower a lot of this because it's clearly too high, too steep. So if we bring this down maybe like to there then demolish at least a straight part of this we can just smooth slope this whole straight section pretty easily and it should look all right so there to to here there you go so it slopes down goes underneath comes back up here joins right there that should be good okay so that's there then this other rail for the airport is gonna go here and we'll just Basically, just join into this one, I reckon. Now, I really don't know why this one's trying to. Oh, it's going to. Hang on. I'm trying to go above ground, that's why. Is it? Right, one meter. Why are you trying to go to one meter? What are you doing? Because I just want to share the same line here. There's no point to, like, have two different ones. It's just tunneled. Now that is probably going to look awful underground, but as long as it works, it's fine. So those two join there. Then we'll probably use the same tunnel going underneath here, but maybe split off up top here or something and hang out this way. And that should be fine. And then this will sort of head out to the, the airport somewhere. Actually, no, we'll stay down low because we got the thing is we got to go under the water again over there. I mean, we could come up for a bridge, but we'll do that for now. Right, so that's going to go there. Then we're going to go for our train line, which is going to be this guy. So we want to use the uh, yeah, this one, this platform to here and back. Not going to be a lot of traffic going there right now, but we'll select. I guess just that one. Is that the smaller one? No, that one. Add one of those. That'll run back and forth. Literally going to do nothing at the moment. Uh, let's get some pipage underneath. Let me just turn off Anarchy because we really don't need it on right now. That'll go there. And there. Make sure they all have water. Okay, and then for now, yeah, so now we just got that intersection and then it's going to run down this way as a normal mode road. Hang on. Damn it. There we go. Normal mode road. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to I'm gonna do a straight road a little bit, I think. And then we'll sort of join these two together with a nice curve. There you go. So that heads down this way. And then... Then actually we might split into two separate roads here. So we're going to go one that comes here and goes up. here maybe I guess Did that do a smooth slope I didn't really want it to because I need to make sure we have um, ample God, stop that. ample parking on the ground actually you know what we should do let's go here 
I don't... Oh, yeah, there's no power. I was going to say, I don't know why it doesn't have power, but I absolutely know why it doesn't have power. It's because we don't have power out here. That makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, then we're going to go here. So we can get a bunch of banks of parking here with this all this zoning, so it should be good. And then we'll get some shops in that around here as well, but for now we'll do that. All right, so then this is going to go out this way. Stick it on the ground. And then... Come around here. Can definitely get, we maybe get like a, a parking garage here somewhere up the top. Okay, it's gonna go here. And then sort of come in here. And then if we, we could do like a, um, some sort of entrance sign over the, where the road splits here. It could look pretty cool. I don't know what it would be, but we can, we can figure something out. Uh, okay. I'll bring this a little further this way. Okay, there, and then we gotta make sure these are all facing the right way, because currently they are not, because it's gonna go this way, it's gonna go in this way. Whoops. In this way, and then out that way. Perfect! So we have more about there. And this can just adjust a little bit. There you go, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. I don't know what's going on with this section here. Why is it... There we go. But it needs to curve at the top, but still be lined up at the bottom, kind of. Really doesn't want to play nice. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. But the thing is, it needs to be like... Oh my god. There, yeah, maybe... That kind of works. I mean, it's not ideal. I don't know. I think I need to play around with that a little bit more. Okay, flip that around. Then, if we go get the parking garage for this section... Yeah, I feel like up here is- oh, really? Even with anarchy it's too steep? I think that's too steep, that looks like perfect. <sighs> Alright. Look, there's a lot of engineering that needs to go into this area to make it function. Go there. Then we get flat parking down the bottom. It'll look good. It'll look good, it just needs a lot of work. Clearly. <laughs> clearly needs a lot of work. So that'll go here, then that'll go... Hang on. Get rid of that bit. Go here. And then flip this. Okay, one way all the way around. Drives back up to the road. There's cars driving down here now. Look at that. Uh, so power lines. This is going to be interesting too because we need a. Because I don't have the under. I don't know why I never downloaded the underwater thing. Is there any? I get them over there. Just did it. We just had to do a regular power line, didn't we? Just annoying. We can do that. I was going to say, is there any point where the the land is like close enough on either side to? To bridge the gap without power lines? I feel like there isn't. I'm gonna just have to- I'm gonna have to download the stupid underwater ones at some point, because I- I don't know- I don't know why I haven't done that yet, but... Let's go here, let's go above the water. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks so dumb. It looks so dumb. Let me use the- I'll use the- these ones. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. You know what, let's go here. Let's just go... Turn up. Smooth slope and all that along the island for now. Because this will all be joined without power lines at some point. And I find these are easier to destroy than the underground thing, so I'll use these. All the way along to there. Right, so that should all be powered. Right, so this should now start functioning and drawing a lot of people in, which I assume the only way they're going to get here is by train. Well, I mean, they could drive as well, but it's going to obviously be more prevalent by train. Okay. There's, there's potential, there's potential. It's took me a lot of time for potential, but we have it. So I think that's gonna, that's gonna look really cool, I think, sitting over there. Especially with the highway here from the city. A few different angles that are gonna look really cool. See all the trains over there as well. Uh, we could even... No, I was gonna say, we can't really join it up over here. I mean, we could, well, this train here we could definitely take, and I think we might, because... Instead of having... Oh, no, I guess it doesn't make sense. So we could take this train to... There, but then we also have the same line doing that thing over there. It kind of would make more sense if that goes there. I don't know. I don't know where this line would go, to be honest. I don't know if you have any suggestions of where this train could go. Because we already have the tunnel going straight to Sedona City. This is a different line. I mean, this kind of has to be the airport line. I guess this could just be, you could imagine it just being a shuttle line that only operates when um, there's a game on. But otherwise, I don't know where else we'd take it because. 
we already have a tunnel that goes over there. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't think of that far forward. But for now, I think it's pretty cool. Having that right here, right by in front of the stadium like that. Right over the water. And if we redevelop this, get a nice little boardwalk going around here, probably it might even curve that a little bit or something. Do something cool with it. Who knows? There's a lot of potential. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let's see how the traffic is, actually, because I'm interested now. A lot of people going there. Oh, some look at the people coming over here now. Good stuff. When is the next match? 2098. We're in 2097. Ah, oh, it's next year. It's going to be a while before we can see that function. Uh, traffic in general? Good. Really, really good. It is 79% flow rate, which is good. If we had 100, that means everything would be perfect, but... Um, you know, well, we're not perfect, so... Anyway, going good. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.